Hi folks, welcome back to my Noob to Pro Israel Tech Grind Series, where I will be documenting my journey from a total beginner to an absolute menace. If you are new to this series, please make sure to start from video number one. This commentary has been added post-recording. If you prefer a non-commentary version, click on the card above. If anyone has any suggestions on how to improve my gameplay, please share them in the comments below. I'm considering uploading more realistic battles. It seems that y'all are more interested in the realistic battle mode more than the arcade one. So I might switch the upload rates from one arcade one realistic to one arcade two realistic, or maybe even three to one, we'll see. However, if you enjoy the upload rate as is, or if you prefer the arcade battle mode instead of the realistic one, please let me know in the comments below. As always, I read each and every comment and listen to your feedback, so if you have something to mention on this topic, now is the time. I made some slight changes to my keybinds in this video and forward. First and foremost, I changed the afterburner to always be on, and removed it from shift to only the mouse scroll wheel. Shift is now a countermeasure button, as my previous binding Alt plus E was wonky and didn't work if I had some other buttons pressed at the same time. Control is now bound to the tracking camera enemy, which I think I did after this battle. I don't know why a lot of people dislike this function. It's especially helpful for when the pilots go unconscious due to the G-forces. This screaming sound you hear is the radar warning receiver. It basically lets you know that someone has locked on to you. It's not 100%, and it doesn't always let you know. However, situationally, it can be very useful. I'm seeing the F-104, and I was initially going to fire some missiles at it. However, I realized that this might be a gamble. The German and the Italian versions do in fact have some countermeasures. For me personally, I love seeing the Chinese version because the stars in the name let you know that this is your favorite sitting duck for your missiles. And as I saw it approaching, I couldn't help myself and went to harass it a bit. They can outmaneuver the missile, however, maybe 70%, if not more, I'm hitting these shots. Figured I'll take some pot shots as I'm passing by. A few more points never hurt anyone. I saw the teammate clean up and figured it's best to save my missiles.
But don't go anywhere yet. This second battle is even better than the first one. One day, I will surely hit a teammate while instantly climbing like this. Just wait and see. I think it will be hilarious. Don't worry, folks. You miss all the shots you don't take. No biggie. Yeah, sit down, son. Dang it. Just an assist. I'll take it, though. Better than nothing. I've been playing pretty aggressively this round. I usually get shot down when I'm this aggressive. Tunnel vision is real. Well, that was a wasted missile. It's generally a bad idea flying in front of the enemy's nose like this. Luckily, he didn't have time to react. For the record, my aim is much better in the upcoming videos. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.